happy, happy Wednesday. Um, so excited about this GOAT promo. I want to talk about that for a little bit. But first, we have a guest that is hopping on. And you all know her. So I'm super excited for her to kind of explain what her team is doing, how come they're exploding so much, what they're doing in um, their team to see success so that we can take some takeaways and implement them ourselves. You guys will not, like you probably want a piece of paper. She's gonna have some awesome things to share. Um, they have been blowing up. So um, I've known her since she's joined the company. Um, and I remember, I'll just give a little backstory on her. Like I remember when we had conference last year, she was like, I don't know if I can do this. Like, she, I don't know what to do. And like I helped like talk her through how to do some weight room placement and she ended up hitting 12k and hit a bonus um and i was i tell her i'm like remember when you were wanting to like quit like what would you like i just don't ever quit you guys because if she would have quit um it would have been crazy i did start my meeting you stupid email <laughs> anyways um so i'm so excited for you to hear, hear from her and what she's going to share about what has worked for her and her team. I feel like I'm like sitting really fast. I'm in my bedroom. It's way too cold hot in my office. I can't wait for it to cool down. Um, but I'm gonna talk tonight. I'm gonna talk a little bit about how to leverage this promo. Hi, Jennifer. Um, I'm gonna talk about some takeaways that I saw on this post that was super interesting that our friend Katie posted. Um, just some. Um, insight from people that aren't in our business like what are some things that they don't like and what do they want to see more of and i thought that was a really good post of hers to get it was so informative so i'm going to talk about that a little bit and then i'm going to talk about how to leverage your story in the most effective way for you and for your audience i'm going to make this super fast i, I know it sounds like a lot but it's going to go like this so we're just going to wait for this person, I almost had her name, um, this person to hop on, and she should be on any minute. I'm so excited, you guys. Um, who is running for the promo? Because we're going to talk about that after we hear from her. Just drop, like, something in the chat. Because if you're thinking it's not possible, it's absolutely possible. It's all of your customer orders and all of your personal orders. Um, and I'll kind of explain some things that I'm doing. I try, I was thinking of doing one way and then I was calculating costs and I was like, this is actually a smarter way to do it. So I changed up my strategy, but double pay is amazing. So it's instead of 20% on your personal customers, you'll get 40% instead of 12% on your first level. So that's like your personally enrolled promoter and their customers, you get 12% on it, you would get 24%. There she is, yay! Um, but we'll dive into the promo after the fact, but here's my lovely friend, Ashley. And I already set you up, I just talked about kind of like, you guys are seeing massive growth in your team right now. And I just kind of want to share you to share what is your team implementing? I know we we implemented something that you have been implementing for a while, um, and that's the IPA chat. And I know you said that that was a lot of success for your team. Like the people that were plugging into that chat were ranking. So if you just want to take it away and unmute yourself. Hi, guys. Hi. I have funky lighting in here. I look orange. <laughs> oh, my God. Mine is awful, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hiding in Roxanne's bedroom. <laughs> Uh, I'm in mine, so don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, the IPA chat, I was talking to Megan when um, we were in Nashville, and that honestly has been huge. Like, everyone in there is ranking compared to, like, my normal chat. So I'm glad you guys are doing that. That makes me so happy. It's because consistency is really easy once you get into your, like, routine. But the other thing that we've really been focusing on, and this is honestly something that took me a while to, like, do honestly because it it feels awkward but like three ways it like it is so 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 important and i honestly didn't realize it till i started doing it and watching people that were doing it compared that people to people that weren't doing it watching like them steal deals um faster not having to follow up as many times 
I mean, all the things. So I, I took some notes here on some ideas, some things we use for three ways, how to kind of start the three ways and stuff like that, that I think will be helpful. Um, so I'm going to talk about like overall, like third party validation first. So third party validation is so, so important. Sometimes just hearing from someone else or getting that like validation from someone else that they can relate to, especially is so important. So like, I think a good thing is like, let's say you're talking to like a teacher, like getting them like to talk to another teacher or another nurse or like another breastfeeding mom or um, someone who does keto or like just someone that can relate to them. Um, I personally just like have people on my team that I know can relate to certain people. And so using, utilizing each other to like help each other out with three ways um, to close deals is so important. Um, so like how, so I wrote down some, like how we kind of introduce it is like, um, Hey, okay, girl, I have to get you into a three with my friend that also breastfeeds. Um, her, every time I talk to you, like, I, I feel like you two can relate. Okay, are you cool with me starting a three way? Um, you can either voice chat that or like say that And nine times out of the 10, actually, I've, I don't think I've ever had someone be like, no, like, I don't actually, I never had that happen. Um, so so just like just do it like i feel like people are just like feel awkward starting that but just being like hey i have a friend that breastfeeds too i feel like you two could totally relate like make it super just like chill you know um and then yes no let me finish this okay come get it quick sorry guys I hide in this thing. thing. I've never had a situation where I put someone in a three way and they've been like, no. I've never had that happen. No, it, it doesn't. I mean, especially if you're coming at it in a way of like you're trying to be helpful, which is what we are trying to do, is I really can I can think that my that Becca, I always go to Becca because she's my uh girl that breastfeeds on my team, is like I I personally haven't breastfed on Thrive yet, so I feel like they can totally relate you know, and then Becca comes in and she's like, hey girl, like it's really helped my milk supply. Like, and then she'll be like, you know, the, the three steps have helped me just as a new mom in general. Like, I know you're tired, you know, just like little things like that. Like they can just seriously talk and relate. Um, and that just gives that person like, oh, okay, well, you know what I mean? So that, that's why I feel like they're so important. Um, one that's like, um, let's say they ask you a question and you're kind of just stumped on the answer. Um, instead of like sending screenshots to Megan or your upline, like just introducing a three-way. It's a perfect time to start it. Um, you can be like, I actually would love to get you into a three-way with my friend who's been thriving longer than me. So you can get all your questions answered. Um, throw them in a, you know, a three-way with Megan who, you know, is just been in this business longer, kind of knows the verbiage a little bit better. And it just, it's that third party validation again. Um, and I can, I can 1000% say the people that are doing three ways, Anthony, he went, um, 4k in 10 days, you guys, 10 days. It's insane. He's about to go 12k in less than 30 days. Um, and he throws me into so many three ways and it's like, uh, like an overwhelming amount of three ways, but I'm so happy to do it. Um, but his business is exploding. And I truly, truly believe it's because he's utilizing three ways. And he'll straight up just be like, hey, I just started this business. My friend Ashley's been in it longer and she would love to answer some questions. And they're like, cool. Then they're getting the support. They're not getting some like half answer because he's new and doesn't know. Instead, he's being straight up and just being like, hey, my friend Ashley's been thriving a lot longer. I'm going to put you in a three way with her. And he just starts it. And we, out of all the three ways he's done, um, we haven't had anyone have issues with it. They're happy. They're happy. I'm helping. They're excited. They hear my excitement. I, Cause I always like, I like vo to voice chat. Hey, how are you? It's nice to meet you. You know, like, so I feel like three ways are just so, so, so helpful. Um, so like so I said, Anthony, before, like yeah. what, what type of people like for everything, or like, is it customers? Is it potential promoters? Like, what is he throwing you in three ways? For? Everything. So potentials, um, the third party validation, kind of like getting people on the same page before they're even ready. Um, when he does minis, um, all the, all my team does this. When they do minis, um, we start a three way and they just say, hey, this is my friend Ashley. 
Um, she's been thriving longer than me. We both want to make sure that your mini goes well um, when you receive it. So just let us know. They just start the three-way after the person orders the mini. Um, and every single time, I swear, I still haven't had any bad reaction. I'm sure I will at some point because, you know, everyone's, there's always people out there. But like, honestly, I haven't had any yet. Uh, knock on wood. Um, but like, then, the, and the, the help, why that's helpful is because what if they're going to start their mini and you're not available, but your upline is? Like, instead of them taking it wrong, because we want to tell them how to take it, you know, make sure they take either one capsule or two, depending on, you know, what we feel is the best for them. It's good to have your upline there so that they're like, hey, I'm, you know, I'm ready to take this. And let's say you're not available. I can jump in. Megan can jump in your three way. Hey, and it's just, again, that starting that third party validation, they have two people they're talking to if they have any questions, you know, what, if they're not feeling well and you're at work, let's say they have a headache. Well, oh, I can jump in. Hey, make sure you're upping your water or whatever. So he throws me into all three ways, um, potentials, minis. Um, he, he's the only one that throws me into customers, brand new customers will sign on. Hey, my girl just ordered her, her four week pack. I wanted to introduce you to you, Ashley. And he'll just chat it and he's so excited. And I'm just like, Hey, I'm so excited. I can't wait for you to get your promoter pack or your, um, your four week pack. I can't wait for you to get it. Let, let us know when you get it. If you have any questions, same thing. When they start, they're excited. They are probably looking at my Facebook and they start seeing more of it and more of it. And it's like, then they're all of a sudden wanting to promote. So it's like, it's just, Oh, you can utilize three ways in literally everything potentials, minis. Um, the one thing that I, almost make my team do is when you sign a new promoter, you need to get them in a three-way with your upline. Like it's an absolute must. Um, why? Because we can help you guys help them hit their VIP period. Um, so you can step away. So you're not glued to your phone. A lot of people have nine to five jobs. Um, I still do this, even though I can handle a new promoter, I still get them into a three-way with Steph because it takes a little bit of load off of me. If I'm busy, she helps me out. So um, I'll look at my VIP report and if I see someone's in, a, in their VIP period and I wasn't put in a three-way, I'll literally go, I'll go tell my, my girl or Anthony, well, I don't need to tell Anthony, but I'll be like, hey, get them into a three-way with me right now. We need to work on this. Um, so yeah, that is three-ways, guys. Three-ways are so, so important. Um, utilizing each other like Erica on my team is my informational go-to if I if someone's just super just I need to know every detail about the freaking product I'm like okay let me get you through with my girl who does all her research she can help you out let me get you into three way with her and then Erica will you know talk about it or keto you know is burn or ultra what are the differences with keto and stuff like that so just utilizing each other um yeah So you've been, it'll be two years in January, correct? Mm -hmm. And you just hit 40K on both of your accounts. Mm -hmm. what, would you say, what, do you, what would you say to that person that might feel like they're not seeing the momentum they want to see right now? What would you tell them? I would say, okay, so what I tell my team is I, I tell them to check themselves. What do you feel like you're really half doing? Are you half doing your tasks every day? Um, are you growing your network? How many friends are you adding a day? If you just feel like stuck, um, are you utilizing three ways? Um, does your Facebook look appealing? Like, and if not, let me help you with these things. Like, where do you really feel like, really sit down and check yourself. Um, I have an unstuck list. I don't know if you've seen that list before. Um, I can send it to you guys. It's basically like a check. Yeah, I think I've seen it, but I, I would, yeah, send it. To I'll send it to you. Cause honestly, I'll be like, girl, I'm going to send you this list. Cause I know the feeling of feeling stuck. And I also feel that way sometimes. Um, because sometimes there's like a lull, you just kind of feel like, man, I just feel like no one's watching. But I mean, really the people that are reaching out are people that don't ever comment or say anything. So really the work you're putting in right now is going to show, show up in like three months. Like that's why you got to remain consistent. The IPAs. Um, and I can tell you the people saying they're stuck or they feel like their businesses are growing are the people that are not doing those IPAs. The people that are not consistently doing the IPAs or they half do the IPAs. They say, I added my friends, but they really didn't that day. Or they're adding five when they could be adding 20. Like, 
and adding friends that not just friends that are never going to buy thrive, like adding like good, solid people, building like good, solid relationships. Um, three ways, <laughs> seriously, three ways will be a game changer. And I know it's like an awkward thing and be like, oh, I just don't want to like push three ways. I feel like it's so awkward. Just do it. It, it, the outcome you're like oh shoot this actually works like that's what I did because for then a while you're like, I was like why did I wait so long yeah like this is <laughs> because awkward. I was the exact same way when I started I seriously yeah, was it I was mind blown I'm like dang and like when I seen and people on my team even some of them just are just still uncomfortable with it and they're like how is Anthony growing so fast I'm like he throws me into three ways and literally everything like even when I'm like okay that didn't really need a three-way but sure let's do a three-way like that that's what he's doing <laughs> <laughs> so it's like the more the better honestly I'm like I'm happy with all the three ways so um but that's what I would say is check yourself I'll give you that list go through it and say I'm not doing that no, I'm not doing that and even if you just have to check yourself and you know in, in your head you need to change that change it um if there's something you're like I feel like I'm not doing this talk to your upline or talk to Megan and be like I need help with this I need help making my social media better I need help with um you know just things like that so i feel like ipas are huge three ways are huge and then checking yourself sometimes thinking you're am i really half-assing this yeah i am i should probably change that you know um so you primarily bring i hope people i answered me. your question <laughs> I'm like what did she ask me <laughs> you did <laughs> um, so i mean i think everybody does at this point because like social distancing but you primarily you grow your business via social media what do you think is the most important i mean growing your social media is important but what kind of posting do you think is best do you think it's lives like what do you think attracts the most people is it stories Ooh, stories 1000 percent stories my stories stay with something in it um stories 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 your stories get viewed the most um uh, before lives so stories and lives are the biggest things. Um, and making sure you're also like growing your social media, not just about Thrive. Like let people get to know you. Like what, like if you looked at my page, you would know what I'm into. Like obviously I'm into Thrive. I talk about it nonstop. I have children. Like I like makeup and fashion and stuff like that and photography, like you would know. So like, you know, incorporating your personal life as well um but stories are so huge i do my three steps in my stories every single morning without a fail people know i'm consistent with it people always ask what is that you're doing i and i put like um little things like not just a picture of my capsules but like super mom loading or goodbye tired mom or you know like um things no, like that that are like late. relatable yes so it's not like, here's my Thrive capsules. Okay, cool. What does that do for you? Like, say what it's doing for you, you know? Like, um, or like your shake, post your shake, gut health, um, keeps me full three to four hours. Like, things that people are like, oh, you know? And then like, wearable nutrition, you know? Like, putting that stuff in your stories, because those load for 24 hours. So no matter what time of the day someone decides to come on Facebook, because sometimes people go on later earlier whatever your posts might get missed because of the algorithm so that's why stories are really really important um I yeah have two more questions and then I'll yeah because i know you have family and your own team and all that stuff but um how do you grow your network i so i add friends like crazy um but i grow my neck network by really building relationships with people so i add friends um i'll usually do so that so the ipas we do adding friends is one of the tasks interactions is another task so i kind of um switch so i'll add friends let's say monday i'll add 50 friends not all of them are going to accept that's fine um tuesday wednesday i'll go through my new friends and i'll really go to their pages so like when i um when i are when i'm doing interactions as my task I'm really, really like, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, I don't just scroll Facebook. I'm very- um, Intentional. Intentional. Forgive yeah. you. I'm, I'm really intentional with the way I'm doing things. So I'm, I'm utilizing my time well. So what I like to do is I'll go to my new friends, I'll go to their page and I'll really start commenting on things that, um, like, that I really like, like their 
cute kid or whatever. Um, and then I like to comment on people's stories. So I'll go through their stories and let's say she's, someone's making like a really good dinner or whatever. I'll be like, oh my gosh, that's so good. Can I get the recipe? Like, where did you get that? Or how did you make that or whatever? That goes into their messenger. Then now we're messaging. So now we're messaging and just like building that relationship that's really, really, really big is building connections with people like real honest connections not hey you want to hear about my thrive but like really honestly wanting to learn about them and know about their life and like really like someone that you can like you know that's what networking is about we're building friends on social media i have a friend that lives in nebraska she does lime life and we are best friends we have each other's phone numbers now she buys thrive for me she has no interest in promoting it but like and that's okay like we've built a really really solid relationship um with each other and she shares my thrive stuff in her beauty page that has a, a bunch of followers she gets customers for me all the time just because she cares and like really loves me because we built a relationship we've never met so and then you reciprocate that back to her too yeah exactly i always am sharing the line life stuff i buy i buy makeup and stuff from her and i always share it on my stories because we just like support each other like it's huge i actually just had one of her girls um one of her customers not her promoters i'm not gonna start taking her people but like one of her customers just started promoting Thrive two days ago. I talked to her, hey, are you cool with this? She's like, girl, absolutely. She's going to kill it. Like, that, that, that's why, like, it doesn't always have to be, oh, I hope she buys Thrive one day, but really just building these connections because it's about, like, you know, that kind of stuff. She's now sharing it with her friends because she cares and supports me. Mm -hmm. um, so that's really how I'm growing my network is really building those honest, relationships and not expecting them to order thrive ever that's not even in the back of my mind and i think sometimes we get sidetracked on i need this sale i need this you know me 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 it's like think about others like really think about others um and then like being informational too of like like doing posts that are like today i did a post about running and how good it is for your mental health um being open real and honest like talk about if you struggle with depression so people can relate to you um so they don't think your life is just perfect because all you put on social media is perfect talk about the days you're start struggling the days that you had a mental breakdown i mean not negative all the time but you know what i mean there's like a fine line but like being you real strangle your children yeah talk about it. people do it's real <laughs> like i mean i do i'm just kidding i love my children i did really no i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> um, last thing if you had like one blanket piece of advice to give somebody, what would you say? I have already talked about it a lot, but being consistent, you guys, that is the key to this business. Um, being consistent on days that you don't want to work. I tell my team that all the time. Like sometimes they'll reach out to me and be like, I just had a tough day at work and I'll be like, hey, try to do two out of the five IPAs today. And then they'll come back. I did all five. Like, thanks for pushing me. Be on the days that you don't want to be consistent, reach out to Megan and be like, man, today I'm not feeling it. And she can just drive you to finish those tasks. It's all it takes is to be consistent every single day, even when you feel like no one, no one cares because people are watching you. Right. And the few days you're not consistent, they're going to go find another Thriver to watch because they're interested but they need to keep watching. Like I watched Steph for two years. If she would have stopped sharing, I wouldn't be it, I wouldn't have all this stuff I have. Like I wouldn't be almost 80K. I wouldn't have a husband that's 40K. I wouldn't have two vehicles that Thrive pays for if Steph would have stopped sharing. I literally would have probably just like not cared. You know, so like keep being consistent. I have people still this day is like, oh, I've been watching you for a year and a half. It's like, what? I don't even know where your Facebook is. <laughs> <friends." laughs> Yo, where were you? <laughs> but then I think, oh, I watched someone for two years too. So being consistent, like seriously, that's my biggest thing. Being consistent. Um, and there are always the people life. that never comment, like, always. nothing. Always. always. It's seriously always. Like my girl, Ashley Schmidt, she went just 12K this month. Her team already, Anthony's under her. Um, he, she, her team just hit 12 or 20, 20K today. And she, her boyfriend reached out to me to get her a mini or to get her an order of Thrive to make her feel better. He's like, my girlfriend, I've been, wa she watches you all the time. She's too afraid to reach out. She will never comment or like anything. She literally stalks you for like the last three months, 
can I buy her Thrive? So I send, I bu he buys her Thrive. I send it to them. She reaches, I said, tell her to reach out to me so I at least have her take it correctly. So she gets it. She takes it. She loves it. She joins us as a promoter. You guys, she's about to go 40K. Like, because she was afraid to reach out to me. If I, like, I had to be consistent. She kept watching and then her boyfriend reached out. Like, it's just things like that. Like, she would have never even, but her boyfriend did. So it's like, you never know. Like, you just got to be consistent. And then you think about the domino effect. Like, if you weren't consistent, then Ashley wouldn't have signed up. And then listening to Anthony talk on that live, like, his life has changed because of this. He was talking about just, like, even the community, how he's feeling, like, all that stuff. Like, if Ashley wasn't consistent, then Ashley would have never reached out to her. Then Anthony would have never been in impacted. Like, the ripple effect. Ugh. That gave me oh. chills. Like, chills. <laughs> same, same. Girl, thinking about that, that's why you guys, like, think about, if I'm not consistent, I can really change someone's life here, you know? I did, before Thrive, I did not want to live anymore. Like, you can change lives seriously by being just consistent and having people finally take that step of, like, if you've heard Summer Love Story, she was literally going to commit suicide the day that she took her Thrive. Like, you can save lives. So keep that in mind on days that you're so tired. I know we all have long days and it's okay to take a day off. But on the days that you're just like, I, I just, I don't want to be consistent today. Think about that one person, not, I want to be 200K. Think about one person's life that you could change that day by posting. Um, that's why I think consistency is so important and thinking about it like that. That's why I always think about it like that. So, yeah. Well, thank you so much mm -hmm. for sharing your wisdom. I appreciate you and love you so much. I love you too. I hope you have a good night. Give Roxy a squeeze for Brooklyn. <laughs> I will. So I will sad. I'll have to talk to you about to me. That I ramble. Oh my God, I ramble. Uh, <laughs> but I hope that was helpful. Um, I will send you guys definitely. that um, stuck, I call it stuck list. Go through it. Check yourself for real. And just keep being consistent. You guys are going to rock it. I'm, I'm excited to watch you guys keep growing. So I love you guys. Love you. Bye. Bye. Uh, so that was awesome. But she actually covered a lot of the stuff I was going to talk about. Live videos and how important that is. Like sharing your story. If you feel like you feel like you're not getting any bites, you're not getting in people that are talking to you, it might be because you haven't opened up enough about what it's really done for you. Perfect example would be Amanda's post that she did. But like, like I got a message from Katie that she shared it with her team. She was like, I loved Amanda's post. It was so good because you were so honest in it. And you talked about like where you were before because you got to realize that the people that you're trying to reach are the, is the person that you were before. It's not, the, I mean, it's not the person that you are now. Like they're watching how great you're feeling and the things that you're doing. There's a giant bug. Um, the things that you're doing. <clears throat> but when you're talking about the products, you need to talk about the person you were before. <clears throat> like for example, I'll just give you a quick example. So, today. Megan, can you hear yeah. me? Yeah. That, like, picture or whatever, that pic collage that I did, mm -hmm. I was, like, thinking about it for, like, maybe four or five days straight. I'm like, shit, I'm not going to put this on there. <laughs> and then, because that first picture is just terrible. We were up at, like, 3 o'clock in the morning to get on a plane to go to Florida, and I only got like that day to go to the beach. So I was like, hurry up everybody. We're going to the beach. And so I just looked terrible. And uh, yeah, so I was like, God, I can't put this on here, but I just did it. And I'm really super glad I did because I've had like a lot of people talk to me after I did the it. The amount so. of support even like just, it doesn't even have to be the people that are interested in buying from you. Like the amount of support that poured in from that post. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I didn't think it would be that great but it was great and then you're like sitting there after you do it and you're like why was I so afraid <laughs> like all <laughs> these people are so supportive that's exactly what happened I was like god I'm in my own head way too much oh yeah we're all totally guilty of that um so like my post today I was like how many times have you told you yourself maybe I'll start tomorrow maybe and that used to be me like I would think of all the reasons why I couldn't do something 
and if and then I just say like if you're done with that being your story then we need to talk to each other like think about the person that you were before like what was your major pain point that you were like all right I'm done like I shared a live video and I started crying the other day and I hate when I cry on live videos but I feel like people can feel your emotion um if you're not ready to take that jump I'm telling you like just take it it's not as scary you get better as you do the more um but it allows people to see the real you and for you to share your story story and open up like if you were feeling like you you just couldn't keep up with your kids talk about how you couldn't keep up with your kids if you feel like that you were battling with inside your own head with like sadness or whatever talk about that and like how it helped you with that if you just feel like i felt like i was stuck with my weight and i couldn't get anywhere talk about that like people need what we have and they just need you to open your mouth about how you were before because some of the people especially the people that you're bringing in new they don't know your entire story they just see what's going on right now so for you to like help paint that picture of what it, your life used to like look like people would be like whoa like you came a really long way that's why like before and afters are so huge for one but also just talking about like the struggles that you used to have that thrive has helped you with um and like ashley said like she was she was so low before she started and so many of the people that i've heard that i heard in nashville say said the exact same thing that they were like they were on their last end and they just didn't know what to do and that thrive saved them so like you could be that person for someone else um so i was, was going to talk about what katie's post said so she had just asked like what people that weren't in the industry had thought or what they wanted to hear more of and they said the benefits they wanted to know like how it helped you and what the benefits are for them it was like a general thing so i thought that was really cool to hear and then the promo so we're gonna please what in the frick kind of bug is this um the promo ways to leverage the promo i'm gonna pull up the chat oh, um the promo so initially i was like i'm gonna do a bottle of sculpt for any orders over 100 and then i realized that i'd be spending 230 dollars <laughs> i was like no nah, that's not gonna work so i decided to switch it up and what i'm doing this is me personally you definitely don't have to do this but this is what i'm doing is anybody that places an order over 50 dollars without the use of credits because you only get a portion of that towards your volume um will be put in a drawing and one person will earn a full three three months of thrive and i'm just using my credits for my husband's account because i'm thriving on both accounts or my husband's or my account whatever one ends up it ends up being under um so that can kind of help catapult me if you just want to give away one plus line item you could do that too i like randy did that today i saw that was really good i think claire might have done something somewhere i'm not sure um but that's a really good way to do it too like if you have if you can spend 50 of your credits on the second we're close enough to the second where you're going to be like i'm going to mail it out for you on monday and it's talking going to be tuesday but they wouldn't know um and just say and just say like i'm going to anybody that places an order with me from now until sunday gets their name entered for this full full box of whatever you could do the popcorn chips they're super cheap it's 23 dollars. it's a huge box um maybe you could do like a little skincare bundle and do two of the skincare things that are really cheap like the bar and like the body scrub or something like that something that's not going to cost a lot out of your pocket because you want that double pay for the entire month of september like it is change it i was like whoa when my paychecks came in i was like whoa when i got it so like i said 40 percent on yours you're almost getting 50 percent of the order paid in commission that's i'm like i don't even know how they make money but um if you need help with like a personal strategy or you want ideas like feel free to reach out to me but if you feel like i can't do this then you're right like i talked about belief the other week it's time to like start telling yourself a different story if that's what you're telling yourself but i can't do this you can do it amazing things can happen when you put your mind to it i've been sending messages like to every single person that's ever created a free account with me um i've been putting up polls every single day i've been doing live videos i think i'm going to go live tomorrow morning and talk about my giveaway that i'm doing um and 
just shouting it for, from the rooftop. If I'm annoying during these, like, five days, I really don't care because, like, it's important to me. And I know that if I get these products in somebody's hand that hasn't had it before, their life will be changed dramatically. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to end on. Does anyone have questions about anything? Anything that Ashley covered that I can elaborate on? Anything about the promo that's going on? Anything about end of month and, like, pushing? Anything at all? You can unmute yourself or you can put it in the chat if you're unable to unmute yourself. No? I stopped the recording. 